everybody, welcome back to Thinking of Pi. Today, I'll be showing you how to use an RGB LED. It's basically three different LEDs all rolled up into one. There's red, green, and blue. And by switching those different colors on or off, you can pretty much make any color you want. So let's go check it out. All right, so we've got a pretty simple circuit here. We've got three resistors and four wires. And then we've got our RGB LED right here. Now the first thing you'll notice is that it has four leads on it. Going from left to right here, we've got our red, common positive, green, and blue. All of the colors will represent negative pins and then the positive ones right there, the longest one, they all share that same one for the positive. So I'm just gonna plug that in right over here. I've already got this wired up for you. I'm not gonna bore anyone with putting together another LED circuit. There we go, just slips right in there like that. So that second pin is right here on the red wire that's going over to our power supply. And then each of the colors is going to either 17, 18, and uh, 27 right there. So I'll take you over to the computer and I'll show you what this thing can do. All right, so here we are, logged into the Pi through VNC obviously. And I've got a couple different programs I'm gonna show you. Um, the first one here is just a quick demonstration of how the RGB LED works. Um, we're going to import it from uh, GPIO0 right here. Import RGB LED. I'm also just gonna use the sleep function here as we switch between colors. And when we define the variable here, the LED object, we're just going to use our RGB LED and we're going to put in the pins that um, each of the colors is on. So it's first one's red, green, blue. And I've just got this in here because it works with the other program that I'll be showing you. So we can ignore that. So we're just going to switch between red, green, blue, purple, light green. So you can see it work. Here it goes. Red, green, blue, purple, and it's off. So when we do it through GPIO zero, we've got a limit limitations here of how many colors we can do because it's actually using a digital signal. Um, these parameters in here are telling it which color to turn on. So if we turn on just the first one and leave the other two off, we get red. Same thing with these other ones here. We'll turn on the green pin, the blue pin. If we turn on the red and the blue pin, we'll get purple. And this one didn't work for some reason. Not important right now. And then I just turned it off for consistency. Now if we go over to this one, it's a lot more complicated. I'm not gonna go through this in complete detail, but this is going to be using PWM and all it's going to be doing is generating random numbers and setting that to the value of the duty cycle. So we'll be setting each of the pins at um, a random duty cycle, which will vary the amount of power coming out of that color, which will give us a lot more variety in what color we can get out of this. So let's give this a try. Well, that's a little bit more exciting than some boring colors that we were getting earlier. Now, this type of LED is actually what's in just about every electronic device that exists today. Um, whether you're watching this video on your phone, tablet, computer, TV, those screens are made up of millions of these type of LEDs. They're obviously much, much smaller, so small that you can't even see them sometimes, but it's the combination of all those pixels, all those little LEDs that work together to create the image that you're watching. 
Now, if you look down here, this script also outputs the duty cycles corresponding to each of the colors. So you can see where those colors are coming from. So if, you know, let's just stop this for a second. Right here, red's at 14%, green's at 10%, and blue's at 18%. So the different combinations of duty cycles will get you pretty much any color you want. Anyways, that's enough of the LEDs for a while. Next week I'll be taking a break from the LEDs and I'll be showing you how to use a buzzer. I'll be doing a tutorial with an active buzzer as well as a passive buzzer, so you'll be able to see the difference with those. And um, I'll be making a doorbell as well as an alarm. And maybe I'll even make it play some music, who knows. Um, Anyways, that's all I've got for today. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'd love to see your comments below. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and you'll get notifications of all the new videos that I'll be uploading. But that's it for today, guys. I'll talk to you later.